Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm once again having a quick look at latent diffusion. I'm going to focus on the text to image stuff today because, well, that's fun, isn't it? Yes, anyway, so news. This is what's happened since my previous video, April 2022, thanks to Catherine Croson. We've got a classifier free guidance speed up of two times and also the PLMS sampler. Excellent stuff. And of course, more importantly, we now have the LAION model, which has been integrated into Hugging Face Spaces, and it can download it here. It's in the it's in the model zoo, but sort of, yes, all over the place. But anyway, so if you want to play with the Hugging Face Space, there it is. This is the easiest way of doing it. You've got your text in there, a chalk pastel drawing of a dog wearing a funny hat. And there it is. You click submit and you get a chalk pastel drawing of a dog wearing a funny hat. Couldn't be easier. You can pick the width, you can pick the height, number of images to generate. It's a little slider there. Diversity scale. Yep, again, it's a little slider. Fantastic stuff. We also have a collab thanks to Multimodal Art as well. You can go and follow them on Twitter. Pretty much exactly the same thing, apart from we've got the option here of the PLMS sampling. And uh, yes, there you go. There you go. It's the same sort of thing, but it's in collab. I, of course, am installing it locally because that's the sort of thing I do. This is the one we're going to be using here. Yes. So what do you need? Well, ideally, you want to have an NVIDIA GPU because otherwise things are going to be really slow and probably not work. Uh, Anaconda is also a requirement for the environment.yml file. And I am using Ubuntu Linux because that's fast and compatible. So if you're using Microsoft Windows, it'll probably work as well, but it'd be slow and horrible. But then you're used to that already, aren't you, Windows users? Yes, you are. OK, so don't forget to git clone this. That will download everything and then change direction into your newly created directory. Latent Diffusion. You'll also want to download that lovely model we were talking about there. Here is the 400 million, the world's largest openly available image text pair data set. So that's the thing they've sampled on. And uh, yep, we can download it. Got the checkpoint there. Already done. It's about 5.7 gig. There you go. Make the directory, download it, and you are ready to go. You can conda env create minus f environment.yml because they have provided that fantastic anaconda environment file for us. And of course, don't forget to activate your conda environment. So I, of course, have done all that. Only takes a few seconds. So let's get generating. There we go. Let's throw that in there. And while that's doing things, we'll just have a quick look at all this stuff. Right. So you've got ddim eta. Yeah, you mostly want to keep that on zero. You can, you know, change it if you want to. You can go all the way up to one if you want. But yeah, honestly, these are the best settings. DTM ETA zero. Just keep it at zero. Uh, number of samples and number of itera iterations. Um, that's sort of basically how many images you get. So you're going to get four by four. That's going to be 16. That'll also impact the size of the grid. It will it'll create all the images individually. Don't worry, you get all the in individual images. But it'll also create a four by four grid there. Scale, that's the scale that we saw here. Yeah, so diversity scale, five is absolutely brilliant. You would probably want to keep it at five. And uh, DDIM steps, that's how many steps you want to take. As you can see down here, it did 50 steps. Yeah, each step taking hmm, a few seconds and, uh, you know, 15 seconds-ish per, per lump. And, and we've got a whole whole bunch of files. So should we see what happened? Should we see what happened? Yeah, okay. So it's in the outputs directory. And we got text to image samples. And here we have all the individual images. So there you go all the individual images lots of things but let's have a quick look at them in a grid because that shows them all at once it's much easier there you go there you go so this is a acute rodent oil on canvas nerdy yeah does that does that look like a nerdy rodent to you it's got an ear on its back so yeah that's that's pretty pretty nerdy pretty nerdy so there you go quite nice aren't they quite nice i do like the colors and yeah lots of things going on there although it seems to be holding a knife or a feather or something anyway there you go. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty cool. But you can do other things as well. You can do other things. Yes, you can change the width and the height. So let's let's do this here. Yeah, exactly the same thing. Apart from, we'll, we'll pasta that in there. Uh, we're just going to do one sample, one iteration there. And here we're changing the height to 384 and the width to 1024. So yes, you, you don't have to use square images anymore. You, you can have long ones or you can have high ones. You can stretch them in all sorts of weird ways and yeah, that's how you do it. You specify the height and the width. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit slower. This is a little bit slower. So um, I've got some that I made earlier. Yeah, yeah. In in true, true recipe style. OK, so let's have a look down here. So uh, we've got a whole bunch of things in here. Text to image various. As you can see, there are wee, loads and loads of different ones. Right. So if we have a look at some wide images, 
Now, these are going to be slightly stranger compared to the 256 by 256 version because, mm, because they're wide. Because they're wide. So as you can see, it tends to, um, tends to duplicate things a little bit. So this is a portrait of a man with freckles, long hair and a stupid grin. I can't see the stupid grin anywhere, but certainly got a lot of long hair. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at some other ones. And here we've got a surreal gnome with a human face. Yeah? Yeah. So a gnome but it tends to double it up. And that's, that, yeah, that's, that's kind of what happens if you if you don't do the square images, it doubles it up. Here we've got an impressionist painting of a cute pet mouse eating a carrot. Plenty of carrots, plenty of cute mice. Yeah, yeah, all looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? We'll have a, another look here. And this is a sketch of a gothic mansion. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, I quite like the sketch. So as you can see, it's quite good at doing styles. Uh, there's some things it doesn't recognize because it's, you know, it's, it's not quite the same language as clip. So if you start using your trending on art stations, then yeah, it, it might not be quite what you expected. Uh, and also some things work better long uh, than others. And there is a beautiful vaporwave landscape. As you can see, you will get a bunch of all this text and uh, big stock and things like that appearing in it. So yes, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of cross over that for now. And uh, there's things that you can do later. Now, if you want to do it the other way around, the other way around also looks quite cool. So there is an incredible portrait of a very handsome man with curly hair and a wooden nose. He doesn't actually have a wooden nose, as mentioned. Um, yeah, it's not quite the same as clip, but there you go. So that's if you do them longer rather than wider. Yeah, I think personally, longer looks pretty cool. You, you get lots of, uh, of double heads, which looks pretty, pretty strange. I like it. And uh, there's a, uh, a surreal painting of a, uh, a warlock cat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's doubling up, but in, in weirdness ways, in weirdness ways. So yes, you can do it long, you can do it tall, all that little, little mouse, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So now, what if you don't want all those other things, yeah? What if you don't want the, uh, the, 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 the split images and, and all that sort of stuff? Well, there's, there's another version, there's another version here. Jack000 has done Glid 3XL, which is pretty much exactly the same thing. We've got the BERT text encoder, and clip guidance. There's also a fine tuned model which avoids the watermarks and split images. And you can also do an initial image as well and a bit of in painting too. So if you want to install that version, then you're gonna to have to have already installed Latent Diffusion, which is absolutely fine. Uh, you'll also need to si install Cython and uh, Dali PyTorch and uh, make a couple of directories as well. You need to make output underscore NPY and also an output directory, uh, probably worth editing sample.py to you know, so it actually makes the directories that you specify rather than having to make them by hand first. But yes, yes, once you've done that, uh, then you can run all the things on here. So there's the uh, there's the quick install there, and uh, you'll have to download a bunch of models. There's the fine-tuned one there without, without watermarks and stuff. And then you can do all these things, yeah? So you've got much the same thing. So you've got fast uh, PLMS sampling. So that's exactly the same as before, but there's the classifier free guidance here. So if you want to use clip guidance as well, then you can use your usual things there, like you're trending on art station and rendered in Unreal Engine. Yeah, 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 you can do all that stuff too. Uh, you can also sample there with an in image, so you can specify your initial image there, and you can also edit images as well. So if you uh, pip install PyQt5, yeah, yeah, then uh, if you've generated one of these up here as well, then that will create a file in your output MPY file. So that's your output MPY 000.mpy. Yeah, then you can edit it and you can do a little mask. That will create a little mask for you. Let's pop into the Glide 3 directory. So if you want to edit things, it will create a mask. Yeah, so maybe you want to have a picture of a cat and uh, change its face or something like that. Then you can do all that too with that extra version. So that's, that's Glid 3 XL. Anyway, as usual, all the stuff down in the description. And uh, yeah, you can have lots and lots of fun playing with all the things and the new L-A-I-O-N model. That is Nerdy Rodent out for now, and I will see you on the next one.